Welcome to FailSense. This video, designed for administrators, introduces FailSense and its key concepts and guides you through setting yourself a user. You will also find information about common tasks you will perform in FailSense like adding users in bulk and then how to map users to your reporting structure. So to learn how to log in and personalize FailSense, let's log in into our FailSense webmail dashboard. Once you have logged in, you have to go to the admin panel. Alright, so this section gives you the number of users who are already there in your FillSense service. Now here you have the option which is import users, which is like if you want to upload bulk users in your FillSense, you can use this option. And the next option is add users. That if you want to add a few of your users manually, you can go ahead. Let's check what are the fills it requires. The first name, put in the first name of your user, followed by the last name. Then you have the designation for the user under role. What kind of role you want to provide to this user? Admin rights or just on fill personal? Let's select on fill personal. Here you have to put in the correct email ID of the user. Then you have the password. Do provide the correct mobile number here for the user. Because an, uh, a message will be uh, sent to this user on this particular uh, phone number when the user would be created. Either the notification will go either email or through the mobile number that you provide. So it is mandatory that you provide a correct mobile number for the SMS to go to that particular user. Now active uh, uh, signifies whether the user is active for your FillSense service or not. Once you are done giving in all the details for the user, click on save. So the user has been created successfully. Let's check how to import users in bulk. Now here it gives you a link which says click here to download a sample file. So this file will help you to upload your users in bulk following this format. So you have the first name, last name, then you have the designation, the password for the user provided uh, along with the mobile number, the gender, whether the user is active or inactive and what is the role that the user will play followed by the email ID. These are all the fields that we have already discussed while adding user manually. So if you have a bulk, if you have uh, gotten a lot of bulk users, you can use this format, put in all the details of your user related to the different fields that you have and then you can upload those users right into your FillSense service. Next option that we have is we will just log in into the uh, uh, webmail of the user whom we have just created. So here you can see that we have received one invitation from the FillSense registration. Now it asks that to complete your registration you have to click on the button to set your password and start using FillSense. Let's do that. Now here we will just put in the password for the user. So the user can use uh, the user's own uh, password or you can share the same password that you have used while creating this particular user. So actually this page comes because I was being logged in as an admin. Now I'll log out and log in as an user here. I'll put in the new password and log in. You can see that your profile is not added in the organization chart. So please contact the admin. So it is mandatory for the user to be added in your organization chart. 
So the main purpose for showing you and coming into this uh, fill sense web mail and login with the new user is just to make you see the error that you will get. So let's log in as an admin again. So to add the user in your organizational chart, you have to go to your admin panel and under reporting structure, you have to map the user to whom the user is either reporting to or will act as a manager to his subordinates. So this is the reporting structure here. So I'll select the user under whom I want to map this user. So here the person reports to this person and from the drop down you have to add the user and click on save. Now as you can see that the user has been matched to the manager he is reporting to. So I log out and check whether I am getting the same error or not. All right, so me as a user, I can log in into my FailSense uh, dashboard webmail and go through the activities related to my user accounts. So this is how you can add users in your FailSense or upload bulk users in your FailSense and then map them to your reporting structure. In case if you need any other assistance regarding our FailSense service, kindly drop in a mail to support at QLC.in. Thank you.